Hi guys, this week uh, we're going to talk about decisions. Decisions that your characters make. There's up in other videos, I'll, I'll link it below, about passive characters. So having your character passive, which means the story is forcing them to take actions that they're not deciding. I'll link that below, that's a bad thing. Your characters should make decisions and the decision, the, the decisions sorry, should drive the story forward. There is five sorts of or five considerations to have when we're talking about decisions. So I'm going to list these five things, the five sorts, the five considerations, as well as the three sorts or styles of decisions that can be made. So it's not so much a checklist, though it is a list, it is considerations when you write your character's decision, think about what you've written and how it could impact the story. So number one, is the decision fair? Is it just? Is it justified? Will it put in the hearts of your audience the need for justice? It was an unfair decision. They overreacted. There wasn't the balance. Someone steals your parking spot so you go and burn their house down. Not really a fair decision. So what is the impact on your story of your character making an unfair decision? How will this drive your story forward? Will the need for your audience to have that meet that moral neutrality which we've spoken about before that they're okay with your decision the decision that your character's made will that drive your story forward does it give you an opportunity to bring in complexity for the universe to come and balance the scales next one sorry does your character feel better or worse for making the decision this allows you to explore the emotions of your character so it's not a series of plots like do this do this do that then they go here then they meet a mentor then they go through a door whatever it is the emotional impact that every decision has on everyone the most basic decisions if i go to the up the road i go to the shops and i spot a really nice piece of you know a, a loaf of gluten-free bread and i buy it simple decision but it'll have a slight emotional effect on me because my daughter can't eat gluten. I've bought something. I feel good about doing something for my daughter. Something as simple as buying a loaf of gluten-free bread. Every decision has an emotional impact. Very few are neutral decisions because there'd be nothing pushing you to make that decision. Remember decisions, the motivations for decisions are dissatisfaction, jealousy, or suffering. So you're solving a problem by making a decision. Do you feel good about solving that problem or do you feel bad about solving that problem? Is it a bit of a moral dilemma? Is it dragging you back? So this will also maybe let the, the audience have empathy for your character. They feel bad because they can see that your character feels bad or they feel good for your character or they're confused because your character's done something horrible but feels good about it. That, that, that could be confusing. That might be a bit of confusion or intrigue you want to put into your audience's mind. Does this decision break a rule of your world? This is very important. I watched the last season of The Walking Dead, only because I'd watched all the other seasons, and things like zombies starting to climb ladders, starting to have memories of their former lives. We had an entire season with the governor proving that they retain none of their former life. Suddenly they decided to introduce them, that they can use tools, open doors. Well, it broke the rule of the world. That wasn't a decision. That was just an example of a rule break. Does your character make a decision which breaks the rules you've already set out? That becomes a plot hole, a logic inconsistency. If you feel that your characters are making choices, and it's a bit of a lazy writing trick, really. It's just there for your convenience, not for the stories. It will break the story. Your audience will be stepped out. They won't believe it anymore because suddenly they thought they had solid ground underneath them. They thought they knew the rules of the world and you've changed it because the make person is making a decision which doesn't fit with the rules of the world anymore. If you find a decision being made which breaks the rules of your world, rethink it. Find another way of doing it. Change the circumstances or introduce a different rule earlier on that allows the world to be consistent. Very important. Does your character break the law in making a decision? Um, this, breaking the law was not a thing in a 90s film. You'd see it happen all the time. People would just keep shooting people and killing people until the problem went away. 
there was no repercussions in the 90s for bad behaviour in those films. And, and and he had to justify to the police that were standing around. Oh, it was really bad. He'd, he'd abducted my wife. And it was, did you rescue your wife? Yes. And then I went and killed him because he deserved it because he abducted my wife. There was no repercussions for bad behaviour. So that might be in your script too. You might be writing the classic 90s cop show. But if they break the law, what are the repercussions on your character, on your story? Do they have to hide it? Do they have to justify it to someone? Do they have to bring somebody in on a conspiracy? Do they need to get hold of an alibi? Does this decision, or no one knows about it at the moment, but they've made a decision and they know eventually it's going to come back to bite them on the ass. It is breaking the law. There is repercussions either now or further down, or it can be a ticking clock constantly in the background of your story that this breaking of the law is going to come and get them. So think of the larger world, just like breaking the rules of your world. Think of the larger world and larger laws that are in place that the decision can impact upon with your character. The last one is how would your character feel if these, or this decision, appeared on TV or in the newspaper? Is there shame involved? Are they doing it for the hero worship? Do they feel good about it, bad about it? They want to be remain anonymous. Do they think they're going to be blamed? Do they understand the implications to the larger world? Quite often a decision does come with a lot of shame. It's not broken the law. It hasn't broken the rules of the world. But people feel bad about it. Like, I don't I'm trying to think of something that might be shameful to someone. They've had to betray a family member. They've they have not stolen, but they've they've always held themselves up as being a financial guru, and suddenly they have to go on you know, welfare or, or wage assistance or claim unemployment insurance or something like that. Or they've always been the person who's given the best moral advice, and you don't do this and you don't do that, and they've now been discovered to be fraudulent or they've done something that they're ashamed of, and now it is on public display. So that's the other one. Think of the emotional impact and the fear the person may have in making that decision. Because remember, they could be forced into it. They could be do it as a result of suffering. They probably wouldn't ashamed themselves for jealousy. They probably wouldn't open themselves up to shame because they're dissatisfied with something. But if they're suffering and they're forced into a decision, that could bring the shame with it, especially then, if I was writing this, they would assume that they're suffering, make the decision, make the decision based on a misconception, now feel the shame, multiple shame. They didn't have knowledge. They made a foolish decision that they were forced into that they didn't have to make. They can morally justify to everyone saying, I thought I really had to do that. And everyone's like, why would that be true? That can't be true that opens up a whole world of things for you to explore emotionally for your character. Three levels. There are three levels of decision-making. The first ones, and these are based on business. I'm going to be using business terms, but you can see how you can modify business terms into your writing. The first one is strategic. They're making a decision for the larger world, the larger, the good. This is when a guy might... Um, Terminator, not sure which one. The actor's holding the weight above the the detonator and he's, hold, he's dying and he's holding it for as long as he can. He could have crawled away, he could have tried to get medical help. He was making a strategic decision, a decision that was based on a plan for the larger world, a sacrifice type decision. You might do something now, you may decide to leave your family because you have to go off to do something that's going to save the planet. So that's a strategic decision. It's a dis and Quite often strategic decisions are made from plans that are set out earlier on. We have to stay to the plan, so you make a decision that doesn't look sensible, but it's a part of the major plan. It's part of a strategy going forward. So you've got strategic level decisions. Then you've got tactical level decisions. Tactical Decisions are decisions that start you down a way. They're more short term. They're, how are we going to get into that room? Well, if you go here and I go there and we ring Harry and then Harry could bring this, 
they, they're sort of, and that's our tactic. That's how we're going to get into that room. Okay, so let's all work on that plan now to get into that room. So you go get a car, you get this. That's like the, the planning things you've seen in Ocean's movie, Ocean's Eleven or whatever. Then there was the typical operation decisions. They're made right now. Like we've come out of the bank, we've done a bank robbery, our getaway driver has gone. We need to make a decision right now. Do we go back into the bank? Or do we steal a car? What do we do? We get on the roof, try to, I don't know, tie pigeons to our shoulders and fly away. Whatever it is, they're immediate decisions. So think of the sorts of decisions that people are making. You can't have someone make an immediate type decision now if it's for a strategic outcome. They will ponder, they will think, they'll probably get more information. They may feel pressure to make the decision right now, but they understand that it's going to have implications later on down the track, so they may pull back from making that decision. They may stop. These are the, some of the impacts that go around decision making. That's it. Thank you for everyone who does this. It's very, very, it's very much appreciated. If you could share this on social media, because apparently the algorithm doesn't show it to people that want to see this. If you think it's going to be helpful, give it to give it to some other people. Um, I hope these things are being helpful to everybody. And until next time, keep writing. Bye, guys.